If you follow this guy edits on YouTube, which you should by the way, you may have seen his video how Final Cut Pro went off the tracks. If you haven't, go check it out. I really admire what he's doing with his YouTube channel and I am actually his supporter at Patreon as well. So in the video there are some really good points, but there is one moment from the documentary they're talking about that I just cannot bear. Let's have a look. What happens if you want to change the order of this shot? So I'm just going to press command here when I drag this shot. And you see, this is Premiere warning me something's gonna happen here. <laughs> Be careful. Jesus Perez Miranda from Spain, he shows in that demo, if you're moving clips around, this is a mess. how it creates gaps and it cuts your music track in half. I have a gap here, I have two gaps here. My whole music track is broken in half and I have to fix this mess. And then he compares that into 10 and how you just, you just do it, you just move it. Here I have the same shot. It's overlapping the audio, it's a split edit as well. And I'm just going to shot, swap the shot and that's it. It's probably important to stress the fact that I haven't seen the documentary yet. And Brad Olsen, the creator, says that it's not strictly about the software. It's about ideas and what Final Cut Pro represents in this regard. But after I saw this presentation, which I assume is used in the film, I felt like it's not right. It's dreadfully wrong, actually. Let me explain. First of all, he wants to change the order of the clips, but the modifier he uses is command, control on Windows, which works for inserting within the timeline, not for changing the order of the clips. To change the order of the clips, you press command plus option or on Windows control plus alt, and then it does a really good job in most cases. But the example timeline that is used for presentation is the worst possible scenario for Premiere Pro and how it works. And it's perfectly understandable when we take into account what point he's trying to make. But it's important to know that it's only a problem when you have J cuts and L cuts on your timeline. And even if you do, you don't do it the way he did it. You do it with two steps that take maybe a half of a second longer than the whole magnetic timeline thing. It's better to select these clips in the case of JCAT and before we change the replacement, we press Command plus Option or Control plus Alt on Windows as mentioned before. Now we move them to the desired location and we release. Now the audio from this clip is out of sync, so we right click on this indicator and we choose move into sync. That's it, not even close to the nightmare the guy was presenting, right? But the question is, does it really matter which software they use? Well, in my opinion, it doesn't until it does. <laughs> I know it sounds like a trash talk, but let me explain. When you're just starting, the choice of NLE is the last thing you should worry about. It's much more important to start, to learn, to understand what the art of editing is really all about. It's only when we start to do something, when we realize how many things we haven't even thought about before. But after a while, you start to understand what is the part of this software that you really need. And what part of it annoys you and stops you from being as efficient and as creative as you can be. And only then it really matters what software you use. I edit it on HitFilm, on DaVinci Resolve, I still do from time to time, and on Premiere Pro. And for my purposes, Premiere Pro is the best, but I want to learn Avid and if I ever have Mac, I will try Final Cut as well. And who knows, maybe I'll switch one day. By the end of the day, these are all just hammers, the tools we use to tell better stories. But if you do a lot of hammering, the hammer you choose translates into how you work and eventually into the results. I'd love to have you subscribed and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on new videos. If you're here for the first time, my name is Piotr Toczynski and Cut to the Point channel is all about mastering film editing, about streamlining the editing process so you know what's the point of every cut you make in the story you want to tell. Until the next time, shoot and edit like there is no tomorrow.